Hi everyone, it's Anthony Giglio, and I want to spend some time with you today to talk about how to properly price your home to sell for top dollar. I think this is an important topic because I feel like so many realtors get it wrong. So I hope you'll spend five minutes of your time with me today because I think you'll get some useful information to help position yourself to sell your home for top dollar. So thank you for spending a few minutes of your time to me to talk about how to properly price your home to sell for top dollar. But before we can really go any further, we need to address the elephant in the room. And that's to talk about the Zillow's estimate. I can't tell you how many times I've walked into a seller's home or met with a seller and they bring up the Zillow's estimate. And a Zestimate is a computerized estimate that you can go onto Zillow and type in your address and they'll spit out a, a value of what they think your home is worth. And while it may be a good starting point, I would suggest it's not the best way to price your home. I would even say it's not a good way to price your home. And rather than talk about what this estimate is made up of, I would just like to speak to how accurate is the Zillow's estimate. And you can find this graph directly from the Zillow website. Take, for instance, the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, which is uh, the area that I uh, work in. Um, there's 1.2 million homes on Zillow, and out of those 1.2 million, there's 1.1 million homes that have Zestimate. And according to their uh, Zestimate accuracy table, only 60.9% of those homes that sold, sold within 5% of the sale price. That means they were wrong roughly 39% of the time. And then... Um, they got a little better within 10% of the sale price. So you can see the accuracy is not as, as good as you'd like it. So again, it's a good starting point, but you really don't want to use this estimate to accurately price your home. So here is I, how I properly price your home. And I, I do it three ways with the three C's, comparables, condition, and competition. Most of you have heard about comparables. And these are those properties that have sold that are similar in style, size, and location. And this is a backward approach and it's data driven. You know, any realtor that you meet with is going to come and, and come with a list of recently sold properties and what we call as comparables. Um, and, and they should because it's important to look at what has recently sold. So you can compare um, apples to apples of um, basically what maybe a bank is going to look at. But that's not the end-all be-all. And a lot of realtors stop right here. They just bring comparables. But there's a second thing you should do is you should look at the condition. Let's look at the condition of your house. What needs to be done to get your home ready for the market? One of the benefits that I provide all my home sellers is a home selling audit. And it's a room-by-room -room review of your, their home to rate their amenities, features, and home conditions. Things like age of the roof, siding, paint job. We'll look at kitchens and bathrooms, etc. And then gives um, that house a home selling score. Homes with a score of 85 or better tend to sell quick and for top dollar. So looking at the condition of the home in great depth and detail really helps position a home to see what needs to be done to the home to better position it to get ready uh, for the market to sell quick and for top dollar. But then there's a third C that never really gets looked at when pricing a home, and that's competition. What's on the market now? And why is this important? Because when a buyer comes to look at your home, they're not looking at comparables of what's recently sold. They're looking at what's currently on the market now. Buyers compare to competition, not data. So the qualities, amenities, and features of the houses selling within three to five miles of your home when you list on the market is important to look at when determining the price of your home because that's what buyers are looking at. So why wouldn't we look at that when we're determining the price of your home? So I hope that was helpful. So let me help you price your home correctly so that you can get top dollar.